Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. So today it is 2nd December and here we are to solve the POTD of the day. Okay. Let's see what does the problem say. The POTD of the today problem is largest sum sub array of size at least k. Okay. You have been given an array and an integer k. So what do we have in input? Array and an integer k. Okay. Such that k lies in 1 to n. Okay. Tell the maximum sum you can obtain from a subarray whose length is greater than or equals to k. Okay, subarray length greater than or equals to k. All right. Now we have done a similar problem in the past. I will attach the link also, which is cadence algorithm how many of you remember it i guess all of you if you don't know about this problem please visit it it is a prerequisite for solving this problem okay prerequisite you can find the trick, uh, link attached in the description box okay so i'm telling it in a whole what does the cadence algorithm do cadence algorithm gives us the uh, maximum sum of a sub array with at least one element so now if we compare the statements of what we have been given as a problem that that said with at least k elements and it said at least one elements so what the only thing where these two differ are the constraints of the length okay so if we are able to remove that suffering from this cadence algorithm, we will get the answer of greater than or equals to k. So how can we do it? Okay. Let us see what are the possible ways to construct a sub array of length k, of a length at least k. Suppose this is an array. The dots represent the, the dots represent the element present at that, at that index okay so suppose my k is uh, for example say 3 okay let me mark all the uh, sub arrays whose length are greater than equals to k so is it possible to make any array ending at this index with length greater than equals to k no at this index no at this index yes which one this one okay now at this one is it possible to make any uh, length uh, any uh, sub array of length greater than equals to k yes you would say two two of them are possible one starting from this and ending at this another starting from this and ending at this all right now what about this one okay now you would say starting from i minus 1 i minus 2 starting from i minus 2 going up till 0th and ending at that particular index okay so three of them are possible at this index okay now what about this one starting from i minus 2 going back to until i equals to 0 and the end point is the particular index so are these the sub arrays or, or, or these are the sub arrays of length greater than or equals to k all right i think the points are clear up till now now you have been asked the maximum sum from these sub arrays am i right okay so when i think of these two conditions i can clearly define my brute force approach what will be my brute force approach for this solution the step one would be to make all the sub arrays of length greater than equals to k using nested loops that is make all the sub arrays 
with length greater than equals to k using nested loops okay and then find the maximum sum among them correct this is the brute force approach so what is the time complexity for this approach as i have seen here as i told you using nested loops you should be able to connect that it would be o of n square okay now and this would be o of n okay can we move to an efficient solution more efficient solution the answer is yes let me make some space here yeah so now let's see an optimized approach optimized approach okay now here we saw all the sub arrays possible at the particular index like the sub arrays possible ending at this index is only this one ending at this index is these two ending at this index is uh, these three ending at this uh, this index is these four all right and we have to find the maximum sum so what i am saying is suppose what can we do we go to an index like this is the index okay we find all the sub arrays and we check the maximum up till them i repeat we go to an index we find sub arrays ending at that index with length greater than equals to k and uh, sidewise operate our sum operate our answer all right possible now what i say suppose this is my array let me mark make the array again Now suppose we are looking at this index. Okay. The possible sub arrays are of length three, of length greater than equal to three. Are this one, this one, and this one. Correct. We have to find the maximum of these three. Maximum of these three. Now my approach says. that if we have a sum if we have a value of the sub array ending at this index these are the sub arrays ending at this index if i already have an answer to this one this part that suppose the max of these two is x okay now uh -huh. suppose we are starting uh, we are looking at this index okay the possible sub arrays of length uh, greater than equal to 3 for this index is the first one the second one and the third one 
all right now we know now we know that we have to find maximum of these three correct that is the main objective all right what i am saying is this is the length this is the minimum length of array that is of length k suppose this index is i now if i have the value let me extend the array a little backwards also yeah Suppose now for the value i equals to i uh, i minus one, the possible sub arrays for this is uh, this one, this one, this one. I am saying now if I have a value x as maximum of these three, all right, then can I reduce some uh, the maximum value for this index somehow? My approach is to use the maximum value at index i minus one to use uh, to deduce the value at i plus j minus one, i plus k minus one. Sorry, yeah. Okay, I repeat. My my intuition is to calculate the value present at this index using the present at i minus one index. All right. How? If I say that if I assume that this is my maximum sum. All right. Now, if I add x to this sum, will I get the answer of this? Pay attention, guys. Pay attention now. Here, I am saying choose the sub array with minimum length, that is k length, starting from i, ending at j, and then add the maximum value at i minus one to this. So that we get maximum at j. All right, but you will say maximum at one minus i minus one is another problem. I say yes, it is another problem. But can that be solved? Can that be solved using cadence? That's why I mentioned that cadence is a prerequisite here. Okay. What was the function of Kinnard's to provide the maximum contiguous subarray? Okay. Maximum sum contiguous subarray. Okay. If I somehow modify Kinnard's to get me the answer for maximum possible um, ending at this index, how can I do that? Okay. Suppose my array is. Suppose this is my array. All right. I have to. What is my objective? To get maximum sub array, maximum sum sub array, ending at each index. Okay. So the first value is two. This is the maximum sum possible here. So the value here will be two. Now, if I come to three, I comes here. I see the previous value is positive. So if I add myself to the positive, I will it will remain positive and it will increase. So it will become five. All right. Now I comes here. It sees previous one is positive. Add myself to it. It will become six. Okay. It comes to minus four. It see previous is positive. Previous is positive. If I add it to myself, it will become two. But still, it is uh, greater than what I am present here or zero. Okay, so it will become two. Again, for six, six plus two gives eight. Then for five, eight plus five is thirteen. Now it gives eight again. Now it gives four. Now suppose here it is minus four and here it is minus three. Okay, four, four minus four again gives zero. Now minus three has two options. 
to add its, uh, itself to this one or to just stay minus 3 the options here are 0 minus 3 simply minus 3 or 0 what will you choose it will choose 0 why because 0 is greater than all of these okay because if you observe what did we want we want a maximum sum here i have to write no condition on length yeah that is why it will be zero because what we were doing is we were using the k length and adding x to it okay now we would use the maximum x possible okay well, i don't care if it is zero or something else I just want a maximum so 0 is always greater than negative that's why I will use 0 here so 0 here then 0 plus 3 gives 3 and 2 plus 3 gives uh, 5 also what if at some index it was the case that the sum is minus 5 and we have 5 here would it add to itself or would it be 5 only it would be 5 only because maximum sub sub array of uh, here would be 5 and that sum is 5 again for it okay I think I'm clear now so what are we doing now let me introduce what are we doing we are first calculating the maximum sum sub array with length greater than equals to zero at each index okay this is the first step what is the second step we start from index k minus 1 because this is the first index where uh, a sub where um, a sub array of length at least k can be made okay we start from index k minus 1 find some of 0 to k minus 1 first okay 0 to k minus 1 and continue now in each step what do we do we update our answer as sum of k elements plus v of i minus 1 i hope the pseudo code is clear to you right now let me write the the coded version of the pseudo code these are the steps okay mentioned in the english what do we what are we doing here so what are base condition now if k equals to equals to 1 what do we do in this case we just uh, copy paste the code of copy paste cadence all right now else if what do we do we make a value of sum equals to equals to zero okay and we make a vector v of size same as array okay now what do we do for n time going from zero till n minus one if sum is greater than equals to 0 sum plus equals to a of i okay else sum equals to 0 now what if this is become negative so for that we have to return uh, run a if else again if sum is less than 0 sum equals to 0 and after that v of i equals to sum this is the first step that making the array of uh, making the array of uh, which stores the maximum sum sub array at that index i hope i'm clear up till now then what do we do then uh, initialize sum as zero again find the sum suppose this is the array This is your kth element, this is k minus 1 and this is 0. So the first k elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, sorry, the k is suppose 5 here, so it will be 5. 
it will be 4. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The first subarray is this. So I'm initializing sum as 0. Now sum will be equals to sum equals to a of i sigma of a of i i going from 0 up till k minus 1. Okay. Then our answer would be sum initially. And after that we will start updating the answers. Now i will start from this position. i will be 1. And j will start from this position. Then only the length between them will, will be at least k, right? j will be k. Okay. When will the, uh, up till which condition will the loop work? work? The loop will work until j comes here. Because that is the last index j can come to. So while j is less than n, what do we do? Answer will become max of existing answer plus sum of elements from i to k i to j sorry yeah and after that return points. how can we do this without using any o of without any extra time complexity for that what we'll do we have sum now sum will be equals to minus of ai okay after this we have to, uh, also it is step that increment i plus uh, i and j for the next sub array and after that it will be answer uh, sum will become sum the element we have lost sum uh, sorry a of i minus 1 and the element we have added a of j okay i hope the concept is clear to you okay you have no problem in understanding what is happening here if you have any doubts please uh, either drop down a comment at the timestamp or you can also contact me on my discord server i will surely get back to you okay so let's go to the code okay so without wasting any time let's code it down as you can see we have all the long long ends here okay so we will have to take care of that also what's the first condition if k equals to equals to 1 we will use k dense i will go with them. i have also initialized uh, cadence algorithm in my previous videos i have attached the link uh, to it in the in my description you can watch there also otherwise i am coding it down you can write from here also, as well so for that we will include, uh, make two variables as sum equals to zero and maxi equals to a of zero now for int i equals long long int i sorry long long int i going from 0 up till n i plus plus sum will become ai maxi equals to max of sum comma maxi then sum uh, will be equals to max of 0 comma sum and after that return max otherwise what are the cases what are we doing we saw that we have to uh, make us make our help auxiliary array which contains the which contains the sum, maximum sum sub array until that index for that what we are doing initially our sum is long long int sum equals to zero we make a vector of type long long int name it as v its size would be n initialize initialize it with zero now for long long int i equals to zero i will go up till n i plus plus the condition is if sum is greater than equals to zero sum plus equals to a of i else sum equals to zero and if you remember we did the check for sum again if sum is greater less than zero then sum will become equals to 0. Okay. 
After that, what will we do? V of i equals to sum. Okay. Now, let me make some space for you here. A second step was to find the sum from 0 to k minus 1. For that, I initialize sum as 0 again. Sum is 0. Now, for int i equals to 0, I will go up till k minus 1 i plus plus sum plus equals to a of i okay now what do we do our answer would be well, sum can be an answer now sum minus equals to v of 0 sum minus equals to v of 0 or sum minus equal, sum equals to sorry yeah, sum equals to sum minus v of 0 plus v of k this is my preparement for the uh, array 1 to k. Okay, now long long int i equals to 1, long long int j equals to k. The loop will run while j is less than n. Answer equals to uh, max of existing answer with sum uh, plus v of i minus 1 we have to check the uh, uh, sub array uh, index 1 less than the uh, ith index okay answer equals to max of ans uh, comma sum plus v i minus 1 after that what do we do we uh, in increment i plus uh, increment i and increment j for the next ones and also update our sum sum equals to sum minus v i minus 1 the pointer we have left behind and sum of v plus j the pointer we have arrived at us uh, recently then just return the answer and this is your whole code let's try to submit it hope you have not done any mistake there has been a mistake it says that long long int the long long int no matching call for int and long long int okay 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 so here i will have to use that if sum is less than zero then sum is equals to zero okay it has been passed so our current streak is 18 days this was all your effort and less mine thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video also if there is any doubt please don't please feel, uh, feel free to contact me on my discord server or by con uh, dropping down a comment thank you have a nice day